This is GNFS News in Brief. Coming up, Chief Fire Officer appeals to the government of Malta for exchange training facility. Ghana National Fire Service, National Welfare Association goes digital. A Boboya Company Limited donates to Ghana National Fire Service. And three firefighters injured in two separate incidents. The Chief Fire Officer of the Ghana National Fire Service, Julius Kuno, has appealed to the government of Malta to assist the service in putting up training facilities for fire officers on exchange training programs. The Chief Fire Officer made this call when a high-power delegation from the Maltese High Commission paid a ketsy call on the CFO and personnel of the Ghana National Fire Service at its national headquarters in Accra. The service has already acquired lands in the 16 regions of the country to build training facilities to serve Ghana and the sub region. The leader of the delegation, Honorable Dr. Ian Borg, Minister for Foreign, European Affairs and Trade, disclosed that the Maltese government is committed to engaging the government of Ghana in interior and law enforcement, as well as provide training for firefighters and border control officials. We certainly hope to see more meaningful exchanges between Malta and the Ghana National Fire Service. To eliminate the delay in serving the members of the Ghana National Fire Service Welfare Association, the new executive members of the association have introduced a digital welfare management system that will enable the members to get easy access to the services rendered by the association to its members. According to the Secretary of the Association, ADO2 Michael Branford Arthur, the new system will bring about transparency and help serve their members better. We are going digital. The essence is to bring technology to bear in our activities. We want to improve the services, our service delivery, and also make it easy. You only have to log in into your account on our portal, then access the platform. You can equally make claims for benefits using our digitized system. The Aboboya Company Limited has donated two motorcycles and two raincoats worth 22,000 CDs to the Ghana National Fire Service as part of its social responsibility at its headquarters in Accra on Wednesday, January 18, 2023. The CEO of the company, Mr. Gideon Seydu, presenting the items to the Chief Fire Officer said, it is not the responsibility of government alone to offer support to the Ghana National Fire Service and has appealed to other businessmen and philanthropists to come on board to support the Ghana National Fire Service to promote national development. Receiving the items on behalf of the service, the Chief Fire Officer, Mr. Julius Kuno, thanked the CEO of Aboboya Company Limited for the kind gesture and promised to maintain the items for effective usage. We should also support because no matter how we travel out of the country, no matter how we travel abroad, Ghana is our home. The little we can, let's support the Ghana National Fire Service. Because without them, one day the whole nation could burn. And they risk their life, their jobs. They also have wife and children. But since we rely on them in terms of any tragedy, same way we should come together to support them and personnel of the western regional fire command got injured in two separate incidents on saturday 14th january 2023 the two incidents occurred when the apramdo fire station responded to a distress call at 18 19 hours reporting a fire incident at Sagoy Junction, Lorena Avenue, involving a shop that houses numerous chemicals used for the preparation of liquid soap and acid used for cleaning floors and others. Unfortunately, in the process of dousing the fire, Station Officer 2 Al Hassan Ibrahim of the 2nd D Metro Fire Station sustained an injury from an acid splash and was rushed to Ghana Port and Harbour Hospital and he was treated and discharged. 
Later in the evening, the Apramdo fire station again at 23-28 hours responded to another incident at East Tanokrom, Moringa Avenue involving two single rooms that were a dwelling place and electronic service shop. During the firefighting, Farman Benjamin Bwedi and Farman Francis Odum were involved in a fatal accident where there was a structural collapse. Farman Francis Odum was sent to the Quesimintum Hospital and was later referred to Ifia Kwanta Regional Hospital where he was treated and discharged. Due to the severity of the condition, Farman Benjamin Bwedi was transported to the 37 Military Hospital for further treatment treatment. The chief fire officer and some management members visited him at the 37 military hospital and he is responding to treatment. For more news updates, join us at GNFS Official on all social media platforms.